Taranaki Maunga. And Shane, you've brought us to a piece of monitoring equipment, but before we talk about that, what signs will we get that Taranaki is about to erupt? Yeah, so each time, you know, as at, before an eruption, what happens below the volcano is the magma has to rise through the earth and erupt out to the top. So on the way, that magma pushes against the rock, and so we see that in terms of deformation of the ground surface. Uh, it also causes fractures in the rock and vibrates the rock, and we see that in terms of earthquakes. And then it also releases water and heat and other gases like sulphur, and so we can see that in hot springs and fumaroles. Right, and when you say deformation, you mean changing in the shape of the land? Yeah, literally bulging of the flanks of the volcano. And so that's what this uh, instrument is all about. Right. So this is one of a network of instruments around the volcano that are detecting whether or not uh, there's been any bulging or shifting of the ground. They're called GPS systems. So just like, you know, uh, GPS in your phone or whatever, but these ones are just sitting here the whole time communicating with satellites and also with each other and trying to just um, show us tiny, tiny signs that may indicate if there's any bulging um, or any magma from below. Right, and what other equipment do you use? Seismometers, so these are, um, picture something about the size of a coffee cup buried in the ground and it's just detecting very, very subtle movements of the ground. So even before we can feel earthquakes, these seismometers feel the earthquakes. The organisation GeoNet um, uh, is responsible for monitoring for uh, earthquakes and volcanoes across New Zealand. And so they operate a network of around 10 seismometers dotted all around the volcano, as well as these uh, GPS networks. Right, and those earthquakes are generated by that rising magma? Yeah, so as the magma rises, basically it has to find its force its way through the rock. And so as it's rising, you picture it sort of rising not like a, a tube. The easiest way for it to rise is actually to force its way up through cracks in the rock. And as it's doing that, it forces the rock apart and also breaks the rock each time it creates an earthquake. Right. Hmm. So it's good to know that we're going to get some warning before Taranaki does erupt and those messages will go out to locals of course and we'll find out how the civil defence organises a response. But it's neat to know that we've got all this equipment and you can actually check out GeoNet yourself online and see the volcanic alert levels for all our volcanoes and whether there's any recent earthquakes a really cool site to look at Shane. That's right and so you can see on the uh, GeoNet website you can see webcams all the time looking at the volcano but you can also see on that same site um, seismic records they call they're called drums and so there's these seismic records which are all these wiggly lines uh, recording what's going on all the time but underneath all of that what we keep looking for is any change any sign that there's magma moving. So far we haven't seen any of that since the system's been set up. Mm. Mm, just as well. Kia ora. Thanks Shane. Thank you.